folks, Ariel over here at Finest, where today, in between, it's rainy again. I thought maybe I had a hole here where it wasn't. Um, the rain's wonderful, we badly need it. Um, and as you can see, it's been snowing on the mountains. I think that snow line's gonna be down here within a day or two. The forecast is right, but what I am doing, I know, I love you, but you're no help. Today is picking to dry the rest of my parsley. I've been using this all um, through the summer and it is a very hardy vegetable or herb as you can see with the cold because it's been well below freezing into the teens and it's still bright green but one of these times it's going to get buried under the snow for the year so I like to have some dried to use all through the winter. So you could snip these parsley stems are not hard to just snap with your fingers so I'm just taking most of the big long ones. I only have two parsley plants here, so it's not going to be a ton. And you certainly don't have to like wait till this time of year. You could do this any time through the summer. I was just too busy doing other things to get around to it earlier. So I'm just going to gather these and going to leave some little, little ones in the middle just in case it doesn't get as cold and snowy as they're calling for and it wants to keep growing but I don't think that's likely to happen. So that's a pretty good bunch off the one plant. Let's pick the other one before we get too soaked here. And this process you could do for any herb basically. I've done videos on this in the past. I, I grow and dry a lot of my own herbs, everything that will grow in my climate. Um, and the process is pretty much the same. Pick the, the green leaves and we're going to put them in a bunch and get inside out of the rain and show you what to do with them. inside out of the rain and it looks like the sun's coming back out from it. What I'm going to do is put each um, each cluster, this is kind of up to you how big of a bunch to make each one, but you want air to kind of be able to move around freely. I'd make them smaller if you live in a more humid climate. I live in a very dry climate when it's not actually raining on me. <laughs> um, so something where it, as the, the bunch hangs there, the um, high velcro the air is going to be able to circulate through it and uh and apparently the kitty wants to say hi to the camera hi there yeah good morning um so i'm going to make a few bunches out of this this takes longer to explain than it does to do um what i'm using is just old rubber bands that were uh <laughs> this is why we call her velcro she's climbing up my coat while i work um rubber bands that I save from anything I get that has a rubber band on it. And this is pretty cool. I used to dry, can you guys see this? This, this is why she's called Velcro. Hi, hi, yes, I'm petting you. I was talking to the camera though. Can I put you down and finish what I was doing? No? Okay, well, you're gonna have to deal with it. I used to work in a shop where we dried tons of things and the one reason to use a rubber band instead of like tying these bunches with a little string or something is as the um, uh, stalks start to dry out, they will start to shrink. And then if they, um, you know, are if, if something doesn't tighten with them, they can fall out. But if you just take your rubber band and hook it over any part of the bunch, it can be a single stem. These are a little floppy, so I'm going to do a few stems. And I've got it like this. Then you just wrap it. Unless you're using an old enough rubber band that it breaks. Let's try that again. Grab it, just wrap it, and then the last little loop you hook over again, a single stem or some part of it. And that way, as, as those stalks shrink and dry, the rubber band will kind of tighten with them and my um, you know, stems of parsley won't all fall out on the floor. So, grab the last one. I think I'm going to make four bunches out of that. And again, it's better to go uh, too small than too large. Um, 
for sure on your benches because if you have a lot of humidity and they take a while to dry the only issue you could get is um, like mold growing in the middle of the bunch which you don't want now i could probably do bunches bigger than this here and be fine because the air is so dry here most of the time but there's my four bunches we're going to go hang them up inside so as far as where to hang things to dry anywhere out of um, direct sunlight and that's uh, dry works. My favorite is an uninsulated attic over a garage. You can dry just about anything there. We don't currently have exactly this, but we do have this shop as you can see. And behind me you can see some bunches of bee balm that I already had drying and another kind of mint. These are almost all dry. This is just scaffolding that Clay's going to be using for other projects, but it's currently sitting here and it gives me something to hang things over. So right now it's an herb drying rack. And so this is super simple. I just kind of like split each bunch in half and hang it over something. If you're not using a scaffold, which is not actually my first choice, um, nails on the rafters in an attic are absolutely awesome. You can uh, just set these in the, on the dash or back window of a car in a lot of hot climates. I know there are people who do that. I could hang them in the house near the wood stove. They would dry out there as well. You could put them in a dehydrator. I've just never found any need to, even when I lived in a different climate that was much, much more humid. Put them somewhere out of the sunlight and in just a few days, these are already dry. I could, um, I could crumple these up and, and put them in a bag or a, a jar. Um, and I've got videos on how I've done that before. But anyway, there's my parsley harvest drying. Just a quick little inspiration. If you've got some herbs left in your garden um, that you're not gonna use them up fresh before it freezes, if you're in a place that freezes like me, uh, maybe hang a few of them up to dry so you have them all winter. And I bet if you look at the difference between the color of leaves on your dry, these are going to dull just a little bit um, as they dry, but still the color of the parsley leaf that I dry is so much brighter and deeper green and richer looking than any dried parsley I can <laughs> buy in a uh, store. It's amazing. And Velcro just wants to cuddle and purr. Yeah. So hopefully that's an inspiration if you got some herbs you'd like to preserve and use when it's not summer anymore. You gonna say hi? Hi. I meant to the camera. Hello over here at Finest. Thank you so much for watching these videos and spending some of your very valuable time choosing to do that. We hope you found something that was useful educational, helpful, maybe save someone else some time and trouble, or just something just plain beautiful. If you don't want to miss any videos, subscribe and hit the bell. And thanks for coming along on our journey as we build a new little homestead with our tiny house and everything to come.